We're back with a Fox Business Alert. Brand new polls highlighting the state of the GOP field among Iowa caucus goers and South Carolina GOP primary voters, including who they think is most likely to defeat Joe Biden. In Iowa, 45% say Trump is the one to do it. And in South Carolina, 52% or 51% say so. Meanwhile, 17% believe DeSantis, who's in second place, a full 10 points ahead of the state's former governor, Nikki Haley. And again, those are the numbers of who they think could defeat Biden. Sunday Morning Futures anchor Maria Bartiromo is here to react. Great to have you, Maria. I mean, those numbers alongside the commanding lead that Donald Trump has in both these early states. Yeah, it's incredible. Uh, Trump continues uh, this massive outsized lead. And I think part of it is because what's going on with regard to the weaponization of these agencies. Mm -hmm. People understand the unfairness that Donald Trump has faced since he walked down that elevator back in 2016. And they are sick and tired of it. They want to see fairness. It doesn't matter if you like Trump, you hate Trump, you know that if it's him today, it could be me tomorrow. And I think that is one of the issues here that people are talking about and pushing him forward because they think he's the toughest, the toughest of the group. I think you're exactly right. And when you see that the economy is a top issue for Republican mm. voters in both places, yeah, well, they remember, policy, yeah. well, they also remember the Trump economy. That's and right. they say, he did deliver for me. So that's between right. the two of those things, it's hard to pick another alternative. It's a great point that you make, Pete, and I agree with you. Economy is up there as well. And when you look at the econ economic backdrop under Trump based uh, versus what we have right now, we are still uh, likely to see a recession in the next couple of quarters. And people recognize that what Trump is going to do is unleash energy. Um, but when I interviewed him, and I've got part two of that interview today, mm. he was talking uh, largely about security, national security as well as personal security. National security is critical, uh, given the fact that communist China is coming at us in every way uh, possible. And uh, Trump knows that. That's what we're running today. This is uh, not seen footage before. Uh, in my interview with the, the 45th president, he talks about what he did with communist China and why he needs to come back and do it again. So you have more exclusive interview with Donald Trump on Sunday Morning That's Futures right. today. But before you get to that hard-hitting stuff, i got to ask you about this. Yeah. So we were, we've been talking about it this morning. There's a woman on TikTok claiming time blindness <laughs> is a real medical condition. Now, you've worked in the markets. You've worked wow. where time really... So she went to... Well, here's a portion of the soundbite. Watch. So I'm applying to go somewhere and I just wanted to know, are there accommodations for people who struggle with time blindness and being on time, you know? And then the person I was with interrupted and acted like I was asking something else. And then when we were done, they actually started yelling at me and saying that accommodations for time blindness doesn't exist. And if you struggle with being on time, you'll never be able to get a job. I think that a culture where workers are just cut off because they struggle with being on time when there's other solutions that we can look to. I think that just anybody who thinks it's okay to just treat people like that, yeah, that culture needs to be dismantled. Dismantle it. What if, what if a young producer said, I'd like to work for you, I'm just a little time uh, Yeah, the show is live, and we go live <laughs> at 10 a.m., and we need you here uh, several hours earlier. That's not going to fly on Wall Street. The market opens at 9.30. You better mm -hmm. be at your desk by 6. But, um, look, I, it, it's hilarious to me that this is uh, coming up as an issue. What I liked in that piece that uh, I saw this morning on this is the person who pushed back and said, what if the company says, oh, guess what? I know you were expecting to get paid on this second Friday of the month, but we're going to wait until the fourth Friday. It'll be yes. there on the 30th. How are you feeling about that? Our viewers came through on that one. <laughs> Salary blindness. Exactly. You're exactly right. Exactly. Um, who else do you have? Because you mentioned this interview and you got some big guests Yeah, today. we do. We are talking with RFK Jr. And, you know, here is a Democrat who dares to disagree with the mobs in Washington. We're going to talk with him about his platform. Why him? Why is he running and what is he expecting to do for America? Jim Jordan is the guy of the moment, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee after those Massive uh, weaponization hearings last week. We're going to get into it. And I have Kim Strassel from The Journal and Emma Jo Morris from Breitbart. She also testified uh, in that hearing because she was censored. Mm -hmm. She's the woman who broke the Hunter Biden laptop story, and they crushed her when she did it. And, of course, part two of my exclusive interview with President Trump, uh, we are focused on foreign affairs, particularly communist China. I'll see you in about uh, 25 minutes. We'll see you in 25. Always great to have you, Maria. <laughs> Thank Thanks you so for much, being here. Pete. You got it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.